Welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new then hello, lovely to meet you. My name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe. If you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure the notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload. Firstly if my voice sounds a bit nasally in today's video it is because I'm not very well at the moment. <laughs> I've not been well for it's probably the fourth day now. I actually feel worse now than I did a couple of days ago, which is great. But the change of weather is definitely making so many people ill at the moment. My two friends are ill at the moment as well. So yeah, it's not great. I hate being ill. I'm rarely ill, but I've definitely obviously caught something from somewhere. But anyways, for today's video, I have such an exciting one because we are going to be doing a revolution and Coraline review. Oh my goodness. So this is one of the Halloween collabs that I can get so excited about because the Beetlejuice collection was amazing, but I'm not like a huge fan of Beetlejuice. I loved Game of Thrones. And guys, when I saw that they were doing a Coraline collab, I literally died of excitement. I absolutely love Coraline. I actually watched it in cinemas when it came out and I think I was in like year seven. So I would have been 11, 12 years old. I love this film. I haven't watched it this year yet, but I think I'm going to watch it tonight because this Revolution collab is proper putting me in the mood to watch it. Um, it's not a very big collection. I'm really hoping they do a part two because I don't think there's enough in this collection. I grabbed all of the makeup in it. There's a big palette, a smaller palette and a little lipstick duo. And there's also a makeup bag and some really cute little dragonfly clips uh, from the film, but I didn't pick those up. Right, so I was just looking on the internet. I forgot to mention there's also some like button eye pads. Let me just show you up close. That's what they look like. Um, they're like a skincare-y sort of item, self-care item. But yeah, I didn't grab any of the other stuff, but I just wanted to get prices up. So firstly, we have this huge palette. This is called the Button Eye Eyeshadow Palette and this retails for £20. This is the box that it comes in. And then this is what the packaging looks like. How freaking cool. And then with this, you actually spin the lid up. So it looks like this. And these are what the colours look like inside. So firstly, I'm just going to say I know this layout and packaging is probably going to annoy a lot of people, but there's a spiral background to this eyeshadow palette, so it makes sense to me that the colours are kind of like all over the gaff and also the shade names are like at different positions because of of the spiral, do you get what I mean? So it, fit, it fits the theme, but I know that the packaging is still going to annoy a lot of people. Can we also just talk about how amazing this colour story is? Like when I think of Coraline, I do think of like yellows, blues, blacks, purples, and they have just done this so amazing. And you know what's even better about this palette is there's so much depth to it. There's even a black, there's a dark blue, there's light blues, dark purples, light purples, dark pinks, light pinks, and there's stunning shimmers in here as well. It has a very nice ratio of matte shimmers as well, and I just think they've really smashed this palette. It is £20, so it is expensive. Loose does have a discount code, so I will put that down below. There's also a smaller palette, so if big palettes overwhelm you or you just really don't like the big packaging, there is also this smaller palette here, and this one is called the Secret Door Eyeshadow Palette, and this one is only £8, and then it's all like right in around the edges, says be careful what you wish for, soon you'll see things our way, you're going to stay here forever. I've definitely got to watch this tonight. So this is what the packaging looks like, obviously the entrance to the other world, but oh my god, I freaking love it. And then this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. If you love your purples, you are gonna die over this palette. And then the little text here says, you probably think this world is a dream come true, but you're wrong. Um, and then the matte shades in this palette have little key imprints. Honestly, the palettes are so, so beautiful. I love them. And then the other makeup item we have in here, 
is the Other Mother Liquid Lipstick Duo. So this is what it looks like. And we have a nude side for, you know, Coraline's real mum. And then we have a black liquid lipstick for the Other Mother. So I thought that was quite cool. I might try and attempt a sort of ombre lip with this. I'll definitely swatch like both shades separately so you can see. But I think I might do a black lip majority and then tap the nude in the middle and see see what we can create today i'm talking way too much but i'll firstly show you the swatches of both the palettes and then we can go on into the eye looks Okay, so I've just primed my eyes with the Revolution Super Base. I think firstly, we shall start with the button eyeshadow palette. Firstly, I'm gonna take the shade Palace, which is this pink here. So with that Palace shade, I'm just gonna place that at the front of my lid. I think I'm gonna do pink to purple. Then I'm going to take a purple with a similar tone. So I'm going to take Firefly, which is this purple here, and I'm going to blend that next to the purple. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of Evil, which is this pastel pink shade here, and I'm going to start buffing out this pink very powdery but i mean they are very pigmented sorry guys i've actually changed the lighting because the sun was just way too bright and i couldn't tell if i was in focus so yeah i've just finished buffing out that pink and now i'm going to do the same for the purple so i'm going to take the shade curiosity which is this beautiful uh, light purple Okay, so we've got a bit of a rough blend there. I'm just going to add some dark purple to the outer edge so it'll kind of like link. I'm thinking of putting the dark blue on my lower lash line. So I'm going to take the shade Home, which is this purple here. Okay, I've just perfected the blend for this eye and now I'm going to take a shimmer for the middle of my lid. I'm going to take the shade Wonder, which is this shade here. It's kind of like a uh, purpley base sort of silver. I'll put it on my lid. Oh no, it's not very, maybe it'll work better on a brush. Sometimes shimmers do just work better on brushes. So with that shimmer, it's not going to work on your finger. You need like a brush and you kind of need to like scrape the like top layer of it a little bit and then it will apply really beautifully as you can see. At first it was barely showing anything but now that I've scraped at it, it's stunning. Okay and then for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade Coraline, oh my god how fitting, which is this deep blue shade here and I'm going to pop that all the, no not on that eye, all the way across on this eye. Okay and for the inner corner and brow bone shade, I'm going to take the shade Strings. Okay, so this is my look with the button eyeshadow palette. We have the pink going into the purple and then into the blue on the lash line and a bright inner corner and brow bone shade. So now we've done this eye, we're going to move on to the uh, secret door palette and do that on this eye. Okay, primer now on. Let's now create a more monochrome sort of purpley look. So firstly, I'm going to take the shade Tunnel, which is this one here, and I'm going to pop that in my crease. To blend that out, I'm going to take the shade YB, which is the lighter purple in the palette. I think I'm just going to take a tiny bit of Lost, which is the white, it's not white, it's more of a cream uh, matte shade. I'm just going to buff a little bit of this at the very top, just so it really brightens up the top edges. Next I'm going to take Soul, which is the deep or the deepest 
purple in the palette and I'm going to use that and deepen up the inner and outer corner. For the middle of my lid, I'm going to take the shade Dreaming, which is this gun metal kind of shade. I'm going to take this on my finger, see if this one applies nicely. This one's a lot more pigmented on my finger. Yeah, this one's a lot more like chunky, shimmery, you know, it's absolutely beautiful. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take the black, which is called Button. And then for my inner corner and brow bone, of course, I'm going to take the shade Puppet, which is a bright purpley pinky shade. Ooh, this is a putty shade. Interesting. Can you see that? See how it's a putty shade? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so that shade is a putty, so it's not as intense as this inner corner and brow bone, but it's still beautiful and it goes with the other purples beautifully. So this is my look with the Secret Door palette. That gunmetal shade on mid my lid is absolutely stunning. And these are officially both of my looks using both of the Revolution and Coraline palettes. Do you prefer the more colourful side or do you prefer the more purple, smoky, sort of grungy side? I would love to know down below. Okay, I'm going to put some lashes on because I feel like these looks are very intense and they need lashes and then i'll be right back and we can try out the lipstick duo okay i'm back i've put my lashes on i used my of course my favorite my revolution proxy eyelashes and then for mascara i used my l'oreal air volume mascara and these are both my eyes with lashes on they definitely look better now with the lashes on i just feel like sometimes a lash is needed for a look so now we can finish off the look with the little liquid lipstick duo okay so these are the swatches of the lipstick duo i of course absolutely love this nude here and you couldn't do a halloween collection without a black lipstick so i love the idea behind it one side her regular mum the other side her other mother so now let's kind of like majority fill our lips in with the black but then add a little bit of the nude in the center Okay, so that is what the black looks like on its own but of course i want to dab a little bit of the nude in the center okay so that kind of just made it a little bit on the gray side so i think we're just going to leave it there i'm really not good at ombre lips but this will this will just have to do for now <laughs> Okay, so this is my completed look using both of the Revolution and Coraline eyeshadow palettes and also the little lipstick duo that's in the collection as well. This is what my entire face is looking like. Please let me know down below what you think of the collection and also what you think of the looks. Okay, let's finally sit down and talk about the collection. So firstly, for the eyeshadow palettes, I freaking love these i love these so so much i love Coraline. i know i'm probably a bit biased but i do love the quality of these eyeshadow palettes as well this is brilliant i love that they've done something different for the packaging yes it's a bit annoying for some people um because of the way it opens and how the shades are all scattered about randomly and there's probably excess space uh and also the names are all over the place like around the shades but I do think it fits in with the theme with the spiral. Like that's the tunnel that goes from one world to the other in the film. So I definitely think this packaging fits with the theme. I also love the colour story of this. It's just so, so beautiful. So many blending shades, beautiful shimmers, loads of mattes to play with. I just think it's brilliant. Yes, 20 quid is a bit more on the expensive side for Revolution but I will leave Lucy's code down below if you want to use that. This eyeshadow palette, the Secret Door one, definitely for you purple eyeshadow palette lovers out there. This, again, is stunning. has got such incredible depth in it. We've even got a black, dark purple, medium purple, light purple, and then you've also got a light shade to blend out your top edge 
edges as well. Stunning shimmers again, light in a corner shade. This one was a little bit uh, more on the putty side. It required a little bit more effort to put the shade on my inner corner and brow bone over the dreaming shade, which was so easy to use with my finger. The shimmer I used in the button palette, the one on my lid, uh, that was also a little bit difficult to use at first, but once you scrape off the top layer, then you really do start to get the pigment come through. So the eyeshadow palette, I, yeah, I'm such a huge fan of these. If you love Coraline, you've got to pick these up. They are absolutely brilliant the lipstick duo i've obviously tried to do a ombre lip here and massively failed because my lipstick is just basically gray now <laughs> but you know what it's halloween it's fine my lips are so dry like absolutely zero transfer this is gonna last such a long time on your lips and they're not like dry in a bad way they're just yeah they're just not gonna move anywhere they're, it doesn't actually feel uncomfortable considering i've got two layers of lipstick on as well. Really doesn't feel uncomfortable and of course you're gonna feel a liquid lipstick on your lips but it doesn't feel heavy, cakey, like super matte and dry. It actually feels quite comfortable for a matte liquid lipstick so I'm quite impressed with the formula of this and I can't wait to use this like nude shade on its own because that is definitely a shade for I would reach. That is definitely, that is definitely a shade I would reach for quite a lot. And my last side note of the video is, um, yes, I would like more for this collection. I don't think there was near enough stuff for this. There was so much with Beetlejuice, so much with Game of Thrones. And I don't know why. Maybe they didn't anticipate it was going to be a popular launch. Um, but I love this so much. And I would 110% would love a part two to this collab and just include loads more bits for it. Just give it to me all. A fixing spray. Imagine a Coraline fixing spray. Oh my god, that would be amazing. So yeah, I'd absolutely love to see a part two for this collection. But I'm going to wrap this video up here now. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button. Of course, as always, comment down below what you think of this collection and of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!